How's it going guys? This is Double Wide 6 and today I got a video for you on how to sharpen your uh, lawnmower blades using a handheld grinder. So I'll take you through the process. I made a little jig um, so I'll show you that and you can see if you like this method if you don't have uh, you know a bench grinder or something like that to sharpen your mower blades. All right, so here's what I'll be using to sharpen the lawnmower blade. This is basically a handheld grinder. So if you have one of these, you can use it to sharpen your blade. Um, what I've done with my grinder is I've actually set it up here on a jig. And uh, basically what we have here is a little bit of wood nailed together. So uh, basically this is a 30 degree angle and here's my grinder it's actually upside down and this is actually the the grinder blade and this is the handle for the grinder so what I do is I take the blade and I slide it in here and using this jig it sharpens the blade at exactly 30 degrees and that's the angle that you need for your blades this works good on straight blades like I have here this is a high lift blade that's why it that tails up on the end of it um, so, you know, there's tails on both ends. But the blade itself is straight. This type of jig does not work on some of the mulching blades where the sharp part of the blade is actually bent. So we'll show you how to sharpen using this. By the way, I wanted to mention that um, I was on a, a forum and I saw uh, a picture with some plans for this particular jig that a gentleman made. So he had it on the internet, and uh, you know I just tried to build it because uh, I'm a shop teacher, and I figured, hey, I can build that thing. So I spent an afternoon putting that together, and uh, it works pretty well for sharpening blades, but not quite as fast as a bench grinder. But it gives you a perfect-looking factory edge when you use it. So we'll show you how it works. First of all, we'll take a look at the the blade that we're going to be sharpening. I know it's hard to see. Um, it's not too dull, but it is dull. So we'll put a nice sharp shiny edge on there. Alrighty, so here we go. We're going to take our blade, sharpen it up. So uh, we just sharpened the blade. You can kind of see, I just want to show you this little box thing if you want to build it. Um, you know, basically like I said, you just need to make this piece at 30 degrees. So, you know, it's two separate pieces of wood nailed together. This piece in the back. You want to leave a place that you can clamp it to a table right there unless you're going to screw it down to your workbench. And then... The grinder's mounted upside down. I just have some zip ties holding the cord, and there's a hole that I put in there with the Forstner bit so I could hit the on off switch, which is in there. And once again, I left a little room on this edge so I could clamp it. And if we take a look at the blade edge, I mean, this thing, that it pretty much gives you like a factory edge. I mean, that thing's shining all the way across. Um, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but that's a pretty nice edge. It's uh, looks like I missed a little spot on it, but uh, I'll run it back through and get it perfect. So, if you want to build one of those, that's another way to sharpen a blade. All right, guys, a couple other interesting things to note about blade sharpening. Um, number one, if you push too hard on a certain point of the blade, it's going to, you know, basically weaken the blade. It's going to turn purple. And once that metal starts turning purple, you're overheating it. It's getting too hot. 
and basically it's going to be real brittle and you're basically wrecking the blade. So you want to keep the blade moving on the wheel as much as possible. Um, another thing, when you're sharpening your blades by yourself, uh, you know, until you get skilled at it, they might not look beautiful as far as you might see like some grinder marks, but your mower knows no difference. As long as that blade is balanced and the edge is sharp, it's going to cut beautifully. So they don't have to look like factory edges. Um, as you get more and more skilled at sharpening, you'll be able to get factory looking edges. But when you take it to the mower shop and they sharpen it, they have a machine designed to sharpen blades. And yeah, it does look like a factory edge when they're done. But you also pay for it when you go to the shop. So that's some little side notes on that.